You are watching a KTVB special presentation. The St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway Special. You are watching a KTVB special presentation. The St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway Special. Hi there, I'm Maggie O'Mara and we want to welcome you to the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway Special. This next half hour is going to be pretty special. We have so much planned for you. Did you know this is the 18th annual St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway here in Boise? This community has generously raised $16.6 .6 million for St. Jude in the past 18 years, thanks to you. Wow. And on Sunday, June 5th, someone's life is going to change in a big way, and it could be yours. We're going to draw the winning ticket and give away a beautiful home and star valued at almost $700,000. It has two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, built and donated by Berkeley Building Company. This home is spectacular with all the bells and whistles, and we want to show it to you. So let's go ahead and take a tour. So every year we try to do something unique. This year's home is in the beautiful Hope Springs neighborhood in Star. It's just under 2,100 square feet. Throughout, we've got all kinds of designer touches. We're so lucky to work with so many amazing trade partners and suppliers, as well as the national sponsors who uh, support all the dream home campaigns around the nation. Shaw floors, we've got really cool designer um, floors throughout and amazing uh, tile. We've got uh, quartz countertops throughout the whole home, as well as Brizo uh, faucets and fixtures. The design of this year's home marries some industrial elements with um, kind of a European flair, mm -hmm. and so it creates a, a very like, serene, calming um, atmosphere. We wanted to go with the full arch um, to really create that impact architecturally. Some uh, really good indoor-outdoor connection on this home. And I think for us personally, the most exciting thing is this is our 10th year. So it's our yes. anniversary home. Everybody's worked together so hard to get everything donated and create this beautiful home here that you, that you see. We can't wait to show it to everybody. It is beautiful and tickets for this dream home sold out in just under four hours here on Channel 7. You can see why. These tickets were so coveted, the website actually went down. So many people were trying to buy tickets at once. St. Jude got it back up and running, and we celebrated a sellout in under four hours. 22,777 tickets sold. That's a new record, and that's well over $2 million raised for St. Jude Children's Hospital this year. So if you bought a ticket, thank you. You are a part of a really special team, a team dedicated to treating and curing childhood cancer. Danny Thomas is known as the founder of St. Jude Children's Hospital, but did you know about him and his story? It is remarkable. It's inspiring in every way. When he was a struggling young actor and father, he turned to prayer at a church. He said a prayer to St. Jude Thaddeus, the patron saint of hopeless causes. He asked for help to find his way. And shortly after things took a turn in his life, he became a famous entertainer. He never forgot that prayer. And in the 1950s, he started on the path to building his dream. He named it St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Take a look. They said it couldn't be done. They said that it was a task which would break my heart. They said it was impossible. At this very moment, as I speak to you, in the city of Memphis, Tennessee, there is being constructed 
a hospital in the form of a star. There it is, in concrete, glass, and steel, to offer help to all the children of the world, regardless of race, creed, or economic status. You and I have vowed that we will do everything in our power, spiritually, physically, mentally, and financially, to bring about the defeat of these catastrophic diseases. We're going to begin with leukemia, and by God's grace, after defeating it, go on to other diseases. If I were to die tomorrow, I now know why I was born. When we came to St. Jude, I asked the doctor, can you treat my child? And he said, no, we're going to cure him. Such an amazing story. And Danny Thomas lived to see his hospital become an international beacon of hope for children and their families. He passed away in 1991, but today his children carry on the mission of St. Jude. Danny Thomas may be gone, but his dream lives on. Take a look. This is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Since 1962, when St. Jude first opened its doors, we have stayed true to the promise that no family would ever receive a bill from St. Jude, not for treatment, travel, housing, or food, because all a family should worry about is helping their child live. And St. Jude freely shares its groundbreaking discoveries so that every child saved at St. Jude means that doctors and scientists can use that knowledge to save thousands more children around the world. It's pretty amazing when you consider that seven years ago, we didn't have the treatments we have now. We cure 80% of children with cancer. If you think about that, I mean, go back 50 years, we were curing 20 to 30%. This is the miracle story of modern medicine. Our mission continues to unite people from all walks of life in a common goal, to support the research and the patient care necessary to at last vanquish the pediatric cancers that take our children from us. Donors are important to us because you get the feeling that you have a team behind you. We have the resources and we have the focus. And so if St. Jude doesn't do it, who will? My father, Danny Thomas, once said, those who support the good are as those who do the good. And these very words have been embraced by millions for more than half a century. Thank you for supporting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital and for carrying forward the light of that first candle. With your help, we will continue to find cures and save more children here and around the world. We won't stop until my father's dream is realized that no child should die in the dawn of life. Some heartwarming stories are on the way. Meet an Eagle teenager who was treated at St. Jude. You know, they've taken care of me. It's, I'm just really grateful for what they do there. We'll have Jack's story coming up next.
Treasure Valley teenager Jack Bevan was diagnosed with a large and rare brain tumor in 2014. He was just a little boy when it happened. He was treated at St. Jude for months. Now he's a student at Eagle High School. He says St. Jude saved his life and thank you just isn't enough. In 2014, Jack Bevan was struggling to read. His mom took him to the doctor and he went in for an MRI. That's when doctors discovered a large and rare brain tumor. He had surgery to remove it. Sadly, his optic nerves were damaged. He lost almost all of his vision. He was just seven years old. In 2016, his mom says his follow-up treatment was not working, so she called St. Jude. And Jack was so fortunate to be accepted as a patient. I think I was there for like almost six months. He had to have another brain surgery and he suffered a stroke. But the staff at St. Jude kept his spirits high the whole time he was there. Oh gosh, I met a lot of people. Too many to count. Jack was blown away by the size of St. Jude. He says it's really impressive. I think it's amazing, like how big the campus was there. By the end of 2016, Jack's tumor had shrunk so much it was barely visible on the MRI. And since then, there has been no tumor growth, which is miraculous with such an aggressive tumor. Jack is now 15. He's legally blind. He uses a cane and he has some challenges, but they don't hold him back. He's now in high school at Eagle High. He's even on the track team. Jack is living his best life. I'm doing really good. I've gotten like stronger since. Jack has been a part of our Dream Home giveaway for years now. He's so grateful to the Treasure Valley for supporting St. Jude. I want to say thank you to all of them for donating. I think St. Jude's is an amazing place for people that have had cancer. You know, they've taken care of me. And it's, I'm just really grateful for what they do there. He also has a message for St. Jude all these years later. I would say thank you very much for saving my life and thank you for everything. And Jack's mom says she is forever grateful to St. Jude for saving her son and allowing him to grow up. His future is so bright. Just a reminder, we are drawing the winner of the St. Jude Dream Home on June 5th. This year's house is built by Berkeley Building Company and is located in Hope Springs in Star. The two bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage home features a gourmet kitchen with waterfall edge island, custom floor to ceiling ironwork wine wall, open archways with a den, a library and French doors and many upgrades, including hardwood floors and designer tile work throughout. Out. The newly built home, along with a Ford F-150 truck, four club seats to a Boise State game, and a $10,000 shopping spree at More Furniture for Less will be given away live on KTVB Sunday, June 5th. Imagine giving birth to your baby boy and finding out your newborn has cancer when he's just days old. And at three weeks old, he had his first uh, chemo treatment. When we come back, this mom explains how St. Jude cured her precious baby and we'll find out how he's doing today. That's next. Welcome back. Let's meet some more of the young patients who have been touched by St. Jude. Nine-year-old Kale was diagnosed with cancer as a newborn baby. It was terrifying for his mom, Ashley, as you can imagine. We talked to both of them about how St. Jude came to the rescue at such a scary time for their family. And here is their touching story. When I was 19 weeks pregnant, my husband and I went in to do our gender ultrasound. We were, you know, super excited to find out um, if we were having a little boy or a little girl. We did the ultrasound and found out we were having a boy, but also learned that he had a tumor on his left thigh. At the time it was, they were describing it kind of golf ball sized. As Kale grew in his mom's womb, so did his tumor. 
The plan had been to do the delivery and actually go in and do surgery the following day and just remove the tumor. And um, once he was delivered, uh, June 21st, we learned um, that uh, the tumor was much larger and had actually fully engulfed uh, the upper portion of his leg, his hamstring, um, his femur bone, all of those things, and, and just mangled his leg. So instead, we ended up doing a biopsy and um, got the news when he was eight days old um, that our newborn had cancer. Um, he had what was known as embryonal rhabdomyosarcoma. And so we were obviously devastated and just thrown into the world of cancer, of pediatric cancer, which we knew nothing about really. We were very fortunate in our area. We actually have um, a St. Jude affiliate clinic here locally. Ashley says a doctor called her from St. Jude and told her they were going to treat her baby boy. A wave of relief washed over her. From that moment forward, everything for us was, was taken care of. Um, we started uh, appointments there the following day and at three weeks old, he had his first uh, chemo treatment. At about uh, four months, the doctors uh, in Memphis came to us and said, you know, in order to give Kale the best quality of life, uh, we really think amputation is going to be best for him. They removed his left leg at the hip and then actually in the process removed all of the cancer from his body as well. For the first time, um, at about five months old, he was cancer free, um, which was amazing. We ended up finishing his chemo journey just before his first birthday, um, and he has fortunately been cancer free since. Today, Kale is a happy, healthy, fun loving little guy. So, Kale is now uh, nine years old, he'll be 10 this summer. St. Jude, we work with their prosthetics and orthotics team. And so he actually has uh, two different prosthetic legs. He does all the activities and things he wants. Kale can't say enough about the staff at St. Jude. They have become family. Well, I love the hospital. It is, it is so big and it has so many nice doctors and so many people that can help you in so many different ways. And Kale, as you saw there, now a happy, healthy little boy with a lot of personality too. His family is so grateful to St. Jude. And you know, we wanna say an extra special thank you to Berkeley Building Company, who has been a St. Jude partner for 10 years now. Yes, that home we're gonna give away in Star, it's 100% donated to St. Jude. Here's how Berkeley does that. This two bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage house features a gourmet kitchen with island, custom floor to ceiling ironwork wine wall, an open archway den library with French doors, and so many upgrades, including hardwood floors and designer tile work throughout. Berkeley Building Co. is super proud to bring the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital Dream Home to the Treasure Valley for the 10th year in a row. This year's home is in the beautiful Hope Springs neighborhood in Star. The design of this year's home marries some industrial elements with um, kind of a European flair, mm -hmm. and so it creates a, a very like, serene, calming um, atmosphere. We just love St. Jude. It's so great to be able to take what we do on a daily basis and be able to make such a big impact through the fundraising of the Dream Home towards um, combating cancer. Berkeley Building Co. is what St. Jude likes to call a zero hero builder. The title zero hero is given to those St. Jude Dream Home giveaway builders who are able to maximize their efforts to build a 100% donated home. In other words, a home with absolutely zero cost to St. Jude. And St. Jude had this to say, this is always an amazing accomplishment, but it is particularly incredible during a time like this while the housing industry is booming and facing so many challenges. To say we are grateful to Berkeley Building Company who was able to secure donations to build an entire house, including both labor and materials at zero cost to us, is an understatement. 
Once again, a statement there from St. Jude. Thank you to Berkeley Building Company. Coming up. Did you know St. Jude has a school dedicated to making sure young patients stay on track while they're getting treatment? I feel like the folks in Boise, they're part of our school program because they support us. And you'll meet a grateful mom who says St. Jude saved her little girl's life. St. Jude is a real place that takes care of real people and they really do put their money where they say they put it. I just want everybody to realize that it's, that it's real. That childhood cancer happens, can happen to anybody. It doesn't matter who you are, it can happen. This is Claire's story. She was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor and her mom Jane was told there were two places that could treat it, Seattle and St. Jude. Seattle was closer to where the family lives in Utah, but something inside her said St. Jude was where Claire needed to be. I had the chance to talk to them about the incredible experience they had there and how Claire is doing now. It was summer of 2018. My daughter Claire was eight years old and she started having headaches, just kind of randomly. I've never had headaches before. Every once in a while she would vomit and this went on for months. We were going to the doctors over and over, you know, lots of different doctors, all kinds of doctors, and lots of different possibilities of what it could be. Finally, Claire had a CT scan. And just immediately there was a big brain tumor. And so she was in surgery um, within 24 hours. They removed the tumor, and then we started talking about treatment and they said you know there's really only two places in America that you can get the kind of treatment she needs you can go to Seattle or you can go to St. Jude Hospital in Memphis and I really didn't know a ton about St. Jude we live in the west but just something inside me said you need to do this you need to go to Memphis we called and they accepted her they had a, a trial open for her specific cancer it's called medulloblastoma The whole family went to Memphis. Jane was so relieved she didn't have to leave her other four kids in Utah. They needed her too, and Claire needed her siblings. The whole family got to stay in Memphis together. Everything was taken care of. And a nurse called me right back. They said, we would love to have you. We are gonna arrange flights for you. We're gonna have a place for you to live. You can bring your whole family. And so we, we packed up and we moved to Tennessee. They provided an apartment for us. We had, um, there was shuttle services to get back and forth before we got a car. There was food provided. The family was in Memphis for 11 months. And I never once had a phone call about anything and anything that Claire needed, she got. She got glasses while she was there. She had a wheelchair. We had just, everything was taken care of. So she got everything that she needed, no questions asked because it's an awesome place. Claire has a message for other kids battling cancer. So after her surgery, she had to completely relearn how to speak and walk. And at St. Jude, they put her straight into speech therapy, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and she relearned everything while we were there. And now we're home and she can ride a bike, she skis, she hikes, like she's she can speak perfectly, she sings, like, I have my kid back. It's completely miraculous. It feels awesome. <laughs> St. Jude will always be in their hearts. I would tell them that they could do hard things. They can do hard things. And St. Jude is a real place that takes care of real people. And they really do put their money where they say they put it. It was literally life changing. St. Jude is part of our family forever now. And St. Jude stands by that promise that it will never send a bill to families buying your ticket for the dream home that makes that happen.
Well, did you know St. Jude runs a full-time school too? Yes, the St. Jude School Program. It allows patients to continue their education in grades K through 12 while they're getting treatment there. The goal is to provide a smooth transition back to school at home when they're finally cancer free. And this is just one more fantastic program that your donations go to. I had the chance to talk to Randy Thompson. He's the principal. Our school program services students in kindergarten through 12th grade, and we work to provide a school experience for them while they are here at St. Jude. So our goal with that is to provide the resources and materials and the staff to help our patients stay in touch with their schools and their world back home while they are here. And in doing that, we help them to stay caught up with their academics is one part of what we do, so that when they transition back home and we help them back into their schools, that they're, they're right there with their classmates and we don't want them to feel cut off from their local schools back home. Our whole goal is to provide them as extraordinary experience of living their best life possible each and every day and we feel that for providing the school services here that we get to do that it just gives them an outlet and an opportunity away from the medical procedures the treatment procedures that go on and that they come to school and that's all we do here is school we don't do anything else but school i feel like the folks in boise they're part of our school program because they support us. I just want to let them know that they make a difference in the life of every child here at, at the hospital every day and in so many different ways. So you are making a difference here. You are part of the team. Your $100 Dream Home ticket donation to St. Jude goes to help programs like that school. So thank you. Back in April, we sold 22,777 Dream Home tickets in under four hours right here on KTVB. That's over $2 million for St. Jude Children's Hospital and its life-saving mission. On June 5th, someone is going to win a Dream Home. The excitement is building as we get closer. Who will it be? You'll have to watch our giveaway show to find out. Now you know how incredible St. Jude Children's Hospital is and where your donations are going. Thank you for buying a ticket. We'll see you at the giveaway June 5th at 630.